No, I'm okay. I mean, it's fun. I have some cool Nike golf shoes, so that that's a bonus, I guess. But um, no, I like it. I mean, I love being outside. I love. That's the one, like the only downside about the WNBA is during the summer. That's when you golf. So I've had my golf team outside to take a back seat to basketball. But no, it's been all good. It's been. It's obviously been really special. I feel like I definitely you know, came into basketball at the right time, but I was a kid that grew up loving the game. Like, I mean, It's not. Yeah, I don't really care what Jamal Hill says. You know what? There is nobody interesting in the WNBA past or present except for Caitlin Clark. They've all shown themselves to be sexist, racist, petty, ridiculous. Caitlin Clark, the biggest star in women's basketball, is ready to take a stand against the WNBA over two big problems that could change everything. One of them is a bit surprising, and you wouldn't expect it from someone who's become such a dominant figure in basketball. The other complaint? Well, it hits at the heart of some serious problems many WNBA players are facing right now. Let's start with the first one, the surprising one. Caitlin Clark is a basketball phenom. Everyone knows that. She's pulling in millions of viewers, breaking records, and her games have become must-watch TV. But here's the thing. Caitlin doesn't just love basketball. She's also a huge fan of golf. Yeah, golf. In a recent interview with WNBA legend Sue Bird, she admitted that the biggest downside of playing in the WNBA is that the season runs right through the summer, which is prime golf season. That's right. She's frustrated because playing basketball means she doesn't get enough time on the golf course. At first glance, this might sound like a lighthearted complaint. And to be fair, Caitlin said it with a bit of a smile. But underneath that smile, there's a real issue. One that touches on a broader concern for many WNBA players. You see, the WNBA's summer schedule doesn't just get in the way of Caitlin's golf time. It also points to a bigger problem. Players are expected to keep grinding through the hottest months of the year with very little downtime. It's not just about missing hobbies. It's about having almost no time for personal life or rest. And this brings us to Caitlin's second, much bigger complaint. The one that's tied to the WNBA's pay structure and how the league is treating its players. We'll get to that in a minute but let's stay with the schedule for now because that's where the frustration begins. For players like Caitlin, the summer is packed with games, travel, and little time off. Even when players take part in major international competitions like the Olympics, they're expected to come right back and jump straight into WNBA action. It's relentless. And Caitlin isn't the only one feeling the strain. Brianna Stewart, another top WNBA star, has been very vocal about how tough the schedule is, especially after coming back from the Olympics. She's even said that the so-called all-star break isn't really a break at all because it doesn't give players nearly enough time to recover. The same goes for Aja Wilson, another key player who's spoken out. She's talked about how exhausting it is to be on a plane one day, returning from international duty, and then being expected to play a WNBA game right after. It's crazy when you think about it. These are world-class athletes representing their country, and they barely get a moment to breathe before they're thrown back into league play. That's part of what Caitlin is talking about, even if her complaint about golf sounds more lighthearted on the surface. Now, let's get to the heart of Caitlin's second complaint, the one that really hits hard for WNBA players. It's not just about the schedule, it's about money. Caitlin Clark is one of the most exciting players the WNBA has ever seen. She's drawing in millions of viewers, helping the league break attendance records, and yet, she's only making about $75,000 a year. Let that sink in for a moment. Caitlin Clark, the player who is arguably the future of the WNBA, is making less than what many NBA players earn in a single game, or even in a few minutes on the court. Now, no one expects the WNBA to be on the same financial level as the NBA. The league is still growing, and it doesn't have the same kind of revenue as the men's league. But the fact that Caitlin is generating so much interest, 2.5 million people tuned in to one of her playoff games, and still isn't seeing that reflected in her paycheck, that's a problem. And it's not just Caitlin. 
Many WNBA players are speaking up about how their salaries don't match their contributions to the league's growth. The WNBA had a record-breaking year in terms of viewership and attendance, but players aren't seeing the financial benefits of that success. Caitlin's case highlights this issue perfectly. She's one of the main reasons people are tuning in, yet she's not getting paid what she's worth. And if that's not enough to stir things up, there's another twist to this story. Caitlin has options outside the WNBA. A new women's basketball league called Unrivaled is in the works, and they're eyeing Caitlin as a potential star recruit. This league, which focuses on three-on-three -three basketball, is being spearheaded by Brianna Stewart and Nafisa Collier, and they're doing everything they can to attract top talent like Caitlin. Why wouldn't they? She's a ratings magnet, and they know it. Brianna even mentioned how Caitlin is making teams so much money that venues are being changed to accommodate the crowd she draws. And yet Caitlin is still only earning $75,000 a year in the WNBA. Something doesn't add up. This is where things get really interesting. If Caitlin Clark, one of the biggest names in women's basketball, decides to leave the WNBA and join Unrivaled, what does that mean for the league? Can the WNBA afford to lose someone like her, especially when she's one of the main reasons fans are tuning in? If other players follow her lead, the league could find itself in serious trouble. But here's the thing. Caitlin's not just complaining for the sake of complaining. She's bringing attention to issues that many WNBA players are feeling right now. Whether it's the demanding schedule or the low pay, these problems are real and they need to be addressed. The WNBA is growing, but if it doesn't take care of its players, it might lose the very stars who are helping it succeed. One thing is clear, Caitlin Clark's two complaints, seemingly simple on the surface, are part of a much larger conversation about the future of the WNBA. If the league wants to keep its top players happy and keep growing, it's going to have to make some changes. Whether those changes come in the form of better pay, a more manageable schedule, or a combination of both, the ball is in the WNBA's court now.